Hello you guys, welcome back. We are back with another vlog. First vlog in quite a few months, but we're doing something super exciting. I'm going on a work trip up to Montreal today and tomorrow. I'm gonna come back Thursday, so very exciting stuff. I'm going to help on a photo shoot we have with for an upcoming product at work that is coming out next year. So super exciting stuff have my bags packed and I'm gonna head out the door, grab some coffee and then hit the road. I'm actually driving up to Montreal because there's not a direct flight from Albany, which would be like the closest airport up to Montreal. Um, it would either take me like further away and then back and then the flights were like six, seven hours where it's only a three hour drive. And then the train ride was also around seven-ish hours and in my brain, it seems a little counterproductive to like fly further away than go come come like a shorter distance like and plus it would take longer time. I don't know. Some people at work think I'm a little crazy for driving, but I'd much rather drive the three hours than be on a plane for seven hours plus getting to the airport like earlier, etc. So I'm driving. So I'm heading out the door shortly, gonna grab some coffee and then hit the road. First, uh, let's do a little OOTD. I have on this, I think it's wool. It's like, it feels like a wool blazer from Zara. My Anine Bing sweatshirt. Baggy jeans from Abercrombie and then my white Sambas. Then for a bag, I just have my little carry-on Cal Pack bag. So keeping it super simple, super casual since I'm just gonna be in the car for a little bit, so, yeah. Currently in the McDonald's drive-thru, I realize I have not eaten today, so I'm gonna get a little sandwich and fries and probably a Diet Coke before I hit the road. And then we're gonna fill my gas tank and yeah. Just did a really quick run to Target after I filled my car with gas and I grabbed a little Starbucks um, just so I have a coffee for the road as well as like my Diet Coke because <laughs> I need all the caffeine. Um, it's a three hour drive which isn't too bad but like I, I want to be prepared. Um, and yeah, now it's time to actually hit the road. So I will see you guys in Montreal. I made it to Montreal, um, had a little trouble at the border. Um, I told them I was here for work and they didn't like that, especially because I didn't have like a letter saying I was here to work or something. Even though I'm not technically like getting paid by anyone in Canada, I'm just here to like kind of like help oversee the shoot. Not really like I'm working, but I'm not like working, so. Anyway, they had an issue with that and I had to like show them my work laptop and like some, a lot of different documents just like prove, I don't know, it, it was weird. So I'll know that for next time when I come, I'll need some sort of documentation, but yeah. But I'm in my room, I'm so happy. My cell phone was on like 15% by the time I got here, so. It is plugged into my laptop over there just so I can charge before dinner. But I figured I would do a quick little room tour. They upgraded me, which is super nice. Love that. So let's do a little room tour. Okay, so when you first walk in, we have a little kitchenette area, which is kind of fun. They have an Nespresso machine, which I love, and some water. And like these random yellow bowls. 
Looks like we have a little robe action in here, which is good because I'm gonna hang up some of my blazers. And then across the hallway, we have the lovely bathroom. Shower looks nice. Pretty standard, not super cute, but, but this wallpaper here is like kind of shiny. I don't know if you can see. It's like a little bit glittery. Like the wallpaper choices in here are wild. Like I would not choose this. But we have a really good OTD mirror, which we love, super fun. And then we have a king size bed here. And this really unique crystal chandelier thing. The radio, little bedside table's cute, very mid-century modern. Lovely king bed, I think I already said that. Then a totally different nightstand situation here. And then over here in the corner, there's a very mid-century modern chair, little desk area, and a TV. Then we have the windows. Kind of fun view. Not bad. This rooftop looks very fun, but definitely not a bad view. Kind of cute. Yeah, not bad digs for a work trip. Um, I think it'll be fun. Excited to have a bigger bed to sleep in for sure. And yeah, so it's a little after five. I'm meeting one of my coworkers that is also here for the photo shoot in a little over an hour. So I think I'm gonna relax, unpack a little bit, change my outfit, cause I don't really wanna go to dinner in this sweatshirt. Um, yeah. So uh, that's what I'm going to do and I will check in and dinner this lighting is not it this room the vibes are not it but I think my outfit's cute so that's really all that matters but I'm wearing the same like wool blazer I had on earlier from Zara put on this little red and white striped tee from Zara this little score is also from Zara tights and then my white sambas I kinda wish I packed a pair of black shoes because I'm realizing that the shoes don't totally go with the outfit, but it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna survive, so yeah. Feeling pretty cute, so that's all that matters. So I'm gonna head down soon to meet my coworker for dinner, and hopefully it's a fun time. The restaurant looks super fun. Um, the restaurant is called Mo Davi, I think. Mudavi, it's wine bars in Old Montreal, which is like the cutest part of Montreal. So, very happy I'm getting to go there, even if I'm not like staying there. So, should be a fun dinner, good food, good vibes, good people, good time. <laughs>
So I just got back from dinner and drinks with my coworker, Rachel. We had such a fun time. Dinner was incredible. I had the best like steak frites and old Montreal was so freaking cute. It felt like we were in Europe somewhere. Just like the old architecture is so, it was just giving everything it needs to give. Now it's like 10 p.m. ish, and so I'm gonna take my makeup off, do some skincare, get refreshed, and hop into bed for a lovely night's sleep before I have to be up and at it for the photo shoot tomorrow. shortly with my co-worker apparently traffic's bad in Montreal so my boss is gonna be slightly late, late to shoot so yeah but I'm almost ready just putting on my shoes gotta put on my little jacket and put my laptop in my bag so I'm not running it too too late maybe like five minutes so not terrible but you know not great I like to be a functional queen normally um but that's not happening today and that's okay but they had a lovely nespresso machine in my room which was much needed loved it got my laptop pack my bag really 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 quickly Like a million and one chords, but that's okay. Duh. Make sure I have everything I could do. Oh, gotta get my other camera. Got her. Right. Put on my earrings really, uh, really quickly. really quick here's the outfit this cute little two-piece set from Zara blazer is from H&M and the sweater is also from Zara so yeah feeling cute ready to go Just got back to my hotel room so been gone for pretty much 12 hours it's a long very long day um we were on set until like six and we wrapped like a little later than anticipated but overall the shoot went really well i'm so excited and then i went out to dinner with my coworker, my boss and our ceo and I had an incredible dinner. I had this amazing gnocchi dish with like cheese and pesto and mushrooms. It was like so good. 
pasta is definitely such a comfort food it's so needed i didn't sleep very well last night and so just needed some comfort food after a long shoot day and i'm just so happy to be in my hotel room and have a lovely freshly made bed to sleep in it's gonna be so good i didn't sleep well last night so i'm really hoping tonight that i sleep well because i have a three hour drive home tomorrow not super long but like i definitely want to be well rested for that so i think i'm just going to hop in the shower crawl in bed maybe watch real housewives we will see and head home in Having an espresso in my room has been a complete game changer. I love it. It's so good. So nice. Just, just having a nice little hot cup of espresso is just the best. And they had so much coffee at the shoot yesterday and they, they kept offering to make me lattes. So I was very much living my best life. I, I still am living my best life here in Montreal. It's so nice. Unfortunately, I have to leave today. It's about 8.30 now, so I'm kind of wanting to be on the road around 9, 9.30. So I've had an hour to get ready. Luckily, there is not a ton of things I need to do this morning, so I think I'm just gonna kinda get changed quickly, straighten out my hair a little bit, just so it's not crazy from sleeping on it wet. Um, pack up my bag and go. I think I may attempt to take an outfit photo before I leave just so I have something to post on my feed of me when the vlog goes live because I haven't gotten really an uh, outfit picture yet. That, so I think I'm gonna get ready, pack up my stuff, go out. I, I can see from my window a potential outfit spot so I think, I think it should be pretty easy like I'm keeping my fingers crossed so try to do that and then there's a Starbucks around the corner so I'll probably get something a little more large than just this espresso I'll probably get like a cold brew with cold foam which I love like a venti something large and then pick up my car from the valet and hit the road so that's the plan for today super chill let's go do it we just packed up, put on some cute slash comfy clothes, have on these little pajama pants I think they are from Zara, but I feel like the material's thick enough where I can wear them as like regular pants, crop sweaters from H&M, little gold jewelry, I put a little bow in my hair just to kind of dress it up a little bit, and then we have on my Sambas again, and gonna go out grab a coffee try and get an outfit picture and then come back here pick up my car and head out took some outfit pictures that went much better than expected took like less than five minutes which is amazing 
was a little bit thrown for a loop when I went to Starbucks though because everything was in French. Usually most places have like French and then English like slightly under it, but completely French, thankfully. I know my order and I was able to give it to them in English and they knew what was happening. So, love. I haven't taken a first sip though, so hopefully it's okay. I think it will be, it looks totally normal, so. Yep, exactly what I wanted. Got my Starbucks, they're putting my car up front and then we're gonna get on the road and head to upstate New York. by one so we will see what happens there's still so many cars in front of me and I feel like I've been sitting in line for maybe a good 20 minutes see over there you can't really see but the Canadian line so empty no one wants to go to Canada but everyone wants to go to the US apparently I mean I don't blame them we have Target but ridiculous The drive was very uneventful, minus the very long line to get into the US, but that's fine. They let me through, no problem. The guy was like, didn't even care I was coming in, so love that. So much easier than getting into Canada. Um, it's like 2 p.m. now, so I definitely did add an hour onto my trip with the whole border situation. And then I did stop to get gas for like a little bit. So that probably added on some time as well. Um, but yeah, easy drive. The foliage is beautiful. And I'm so excited to be home and I gotta get some work done. And then I'll probably call it an early night and just relax. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to like and subscribe down below, and I'll be back again soon with another video. Bye.